These new pastors in Bremerhaven prefer skateboarding to driving. Pastor Chris Schlicht loves to work out. And Pastor Max Boda is a Harry Potter fan. Alexa, Alexa Lumos. Ta-da! Ta They're out to give the church a fresh new look. This is how I imagined it, really. The musical style of the young churchman takes some getting used to for long-serving cantor Vivian Glade. But people are tolerant here in the northern German port city. I'm willing to get into heavy metal or techno or hip-hop, as long as it moves people. Your music touches people's hearts. I might talk for four minutes, but you need just four beats to get the whole room feeling it. Their congregation is in Grünhöfe, a working-class neighborhood designed in the 1960s. Today, unemployment and poverty rates are high in the area. Here they're preparing for a church service. The Sermon on Sunday also has to work as a show because they're streaming it live on YouTube. This time the music is being picked by Vivian, the cantor. Awesome, we'll take it. We've got the first song. It's a song for Mama by Boys to Men. The young pastors don't know the a cappella group that was big in the 1990s, as Vivian explains. Well, I didn't grow up till the 90s. <laughs> Chris Schlicht lives in the parsonage. And he's set up a kind of playroom upstairs in the house. I love fooling around with clothes. What totally surprised me when we started in this congregation is, I thought they'd really freak out about all the stuff we say in church. Yet hardly anyone minds. But what really caused a stir is that we wear caps during the services. I've gotten calls from all over Germany about my wearing a cap. And to be honest, it kind of tickles my inner rebel, because I don't have this fixation on appearances. God couldn't care less how we look during services. We should just be ourselves. My family moved around a lot, so I changed schools a lot too. And I was always the one who was too sensitive, who cried too much, and who dressed too colorfully, too much like a girl. I was often told that I wasn't a real boy. And the boys tried to beat me up to make a real boy out of me. And since then, I couldn't care less about this man-woman thing. I know the way I run around now is kind of in your face, but still. Max lives just around the corner. 
he made a point of picking an apartment in one of the housing blocks in the neighborhood. Unlike Chris, Max was a popular kid growing up. He doesn't have expensive furniture. What he likes is little playful things. This is the most powerful wand in the world, the Elder Wand. And I can do a teeny bit of magic with it. Like if I say, Alexa, Knox. The light goes out. <laughs> This is my little Instagram corner. I can turn on the light here to give me a well-lit white background. And I like the look it creates when it's all just white. Social media are extremely important for the pastor duo. They have several thousand followers on Instagram. And of course, the new residents of Bremerhaven have to take them along for their tour of the harbor. The ports are the biggest employers in Bremerhaven. About one of five jobs here is linked directly or indirectly to the port terminals. Chris and Max post about their life almost every day, in part so their audience can get in touch with them. They call it Instagram for the soul. I'm putting Highway seems to be a trendy ship name. <laughs> it's super easy for people to reach us. We're just a tap away. You just have to click on direct message and we get it right away. So we're clickable pastors. And to keep those clicks coming, one of the two churches where they work is being connected to the internet. This requires installing a cable underground between the parsonage and the church. But the pandemic has cut down the number of helping hands available. Looks awesome. I'm on the streaming team, and I see how our internet stops working all the time. And if you don't get proactive, it'll stay that way for the next 10 years. That's why I'm helping out. Okay, back to work. They're totally cool. And now people around my age, I'm just 22, are really into going to church. I think that's just awesome. I think it's good when structures that have grown over the years, or even centuries, get broken up sometimes. People who think creatively and have new, unusual ideas have always been able to change history and the world. Then Sexton Detlef Röhrs brings the internet cable. Detlef was born and raised in this district and has been the Sexton for nearly 20 years. He's witnessed how the church has gradually diminished in importance. This used to be the hall of the church, but now it's used to store clothes for the social center. People are leaving the church or dying. Of course it's sad, but what can you do? It's kind of double-edged. Because sure, young people are excited about new things, but we older ones miss what we had. It's a balancing act. And the coronavirus pandemic has sped up this transition. It's Sunday, and the service isn't starting at 10 a.m. like it used to, 
but instead at 5 p.m. Preparations for the live stream have already kicked off around noon. Time for a sound check. Machen wir sound check, passt das? Ein Daumen hoch, der gefällt mir sehr gut. Hi gang, welcome home. What a blessing for us to finally be able to hold a service here. Mama, you're the queen of my heart. Your love is like taste from the stars. Mama, I just want you to know. Love you is like food to my soul. At the moment, the congregation can't attend the church service in person, but this woman has come to watch the live stream in front of the building. Gemeinschaft fehlt. Absolut. Für alle. Everyone's absolutely missing this sense of community. Everyone, not just me. I'm alone, just with a little dog at home. Das war immer so mein and I was always able to draw on the energy here. When we feel helpless and just want to cry, God is there for us and says, I am your mother in heaven. My arms are always open to you. I am your mother in heaven who shares in your joy, who never forgets you and is always there for you. Amen. Amen. Back when they were students, these young pastors may have imagined their first year in the church quite differently. But despite COVID, the two have managed to settle in to their new home in Bremerhaven.